Adam Spartacus formed in 2013. And it was just me, my best friend growing up, Michael Cigara. He'd been in bands with me forever. The newcomer to the band was Brady. I wanted to be in a rock band and I wanted to make a living doing it and so when Ben tracked me down it just gave me an opportunity to Ladies to live that dream pursue I it am Spartan. They sell them in Kroger. I mean, it's, it's like a fad right now. It's something we should have put in the hipster video, and I didn't think about it till afterwards. But it's like a thing. Who oh, I love kombucha tea. No, you don't, dude. Ben had been after me for quite a while because I was a hot commodity, you know. My foot itches so bad I right can't now. I stand it with my feet, I, dude. How does that even begin? You should have seen me when I had hives, man. I would go to our carpet, and I would just. <laughs> I was probably one of the best drummers out there that he knew anyways, so he was lucky to get me. We wanted to be a serious band. If heaven doesn't have farts, I don't know if I want to be there. It was super serious all the time. Farts will be there. I bet that Jesus and the disciples would get to cackling late at night around a campfire and Jesus would just fart. Peter would just come Lord. rolling. <laughs> Was that you? Christ, man, that stinks. <laughs> Have mercy, God. Christ. That's a Jesus fart. I know right now. I can tell. That's a Jesus fart, dude. Every band out there takes a serious photo. They look like they're angry. Nobody smiles. They're usually dressed all in black. And we tried all of it. Ben made us have a dress code. We were not allowed to really choose what we wanted to wear. I didn't want to be cartoon characters on stage. I had written a song called Hey Bro. It's the stupidest song we have. It has no value. It doesn't offer anything to anybody to, to uplift or to encourage. And it changed everything for us. It was kind of like we were starting over. The formula was out the window. What are we going to do? It doesn't really matter. We can reinvent ourselves a little bit. We embraced our personality, started incorporating color into our wardrobe, and at the same time, we just started adding color into our show by adding our personalities. We started interacting with each other on stage like we would if we were driving down the road somewhere. It's not necessarily the music, it's everything behind the music. It's what makes us, us. Okay, we have something now. We just noticed a huge, undeniable wave. Of enjoyment. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> Michael was our bass player and he's been with me since, gosh, high school. Um, in one band or another just he's he's been my best friend my whole life and so when he told me he needed to leave the band it was kind of, it kind of felt like a breakup Michael had kind of checked out a while back and we kind of got used to the way that felt and didn't realize that it wasn't right and when he left the band now all of a sudden we had unity that we hadn't had in a long time and it was like okay we can do this now. I had a crazy idea. What if we didn't replace Michael? What 
does he really mean by this? I really didn't love the idea of it. I just thought, for one, it was kind of lame. I can convince Brady to do anything. Hey, maybe this isn't such a bad idea. Anything at all. Why do we even really need a third guy? He's almost always opposed to the idea when I first bring it up. But usually, within the course of the conversation, I can shift him entirely from, oh man, I don't know, to, dude, that's the best idea I've ever heard of. As long as we can get the music part right, I don't see how it could really go wrong. We have to do this now. Almost to the point that I'm going, whoa, hey Brady, I don't want to think I want to do this anymore. And he's, he's like, dude, no, we have to. But if I kept saying that, he would be like, dude, I don't know either, man. I don't know if we should do this. I own him. He's mine. <laughs> the pastor that, that I was just talking about that said we're not going to fart in, in uh, heaven uh, was preaching a few weeks ago and, and talked about the jaw of the Lloyd is your strength. <laughs> I've been introduced to get to my regular vocabulary. I'll, I'll tell that to Robin all the time. I'll be like, do you do you have the jaw of the Lloyd right now? Do you have it? <laughs> <laughs> You're really pleasant. You seem to have the jaw of the Lloyd. That's so funny, dude. <laughs> she doesn't think it's that funny, though. Everybody's been telling us for years, guys, you gotta just turn the camera on when you're together. Just turn the camera on. One time I get down to getting a crawl space and I'm already dreading it because the crawl space is it's so underground. There's too much that happens when you're together not to do this. And right when I get to the end of it, I fling it over my shoulder and a baby possum lands in my lap. I floated out of that hole like Neo. <laughs> this is what you get. You're welcome, world. I went supernatural there for a second. When the Bible talks about Peter walking on water, I mean, I mean, we always say Jesus walked on water. But Peter did too for a little bit, right? And and when he starts to sink, it's because of his doubt, his unbelief, mm -hmm. right? He starts to sink. But if he would have just continued to have faith, the dude was a human being walking on water. <laughs> and we just let that go. Like, we just let that go. Like, okay, so yeah, he walked on water. But that only happened that one time. We can walk on water, Brady. I've tried several times. Listen, you never tried in faith. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. And let me tell I you mean, why. I let me tell you why I know. God and said, I know I'm going to do this. <laughs> okay, let's, let me ask you this. Was your phone and your wallet in your pocket when you did it? Absolutely not. Because you have no faith. Dang. See? <laughs> as soon as I said what absolutely I mean. not, it was like... I was like, wow, we I don't know. have the faith. I tapped into some of that when I levitated out of that hole because I didn't have time to doubt. All I knew was my body needs to be backwards and up in the air now. <laughs> Where are we going to be in five years? I have no idea. I don't know. I think there's something, there's something there. If I had just stuck to the plan, we wouldn't be where we are now. Um, we might have given up. Because it wasn't working, it wasn't right. So I guess you gotta have a plan, but man, you gotta be flexible because something is inevitably gonna come your way that's gonna shift everything for you. Everybody wants to be hip. And you gotta be ready to jump on board. Nobody wants to be a hip, hip, hipster.